Welcome to this edition of Sunday Coast Bass Fishing Shows. Now today, I'm going to be fishing our football bobblehead with our swim flip craw. Um, since December, this has been a staple of mine, this lake. Uh, the last few years, with the drought has been so low. There hasn't been much water up in all this flooded stuff. But this year, it filled up. Fish are up in there. They just don't seem to want to come out. I mean, I did that uh, show with the cut tail on that point. Uh, the water was actually fairly clear then, but since this is dirtied up, and they're just they're just not offshore. They just don't want to come out and play. So you got to go in and get them. And my staple, all the way since December, has been this football bobblehead on the swim flip craw. Now I'm gonna do a, a series of this. I have this one plus we have a skirted one uh, plus our. Uh, flipping jig uh, but this first one the uh, just a straight football bobblehead with our swim flip craw been here the last couple days getting some footage uh, really good show have some good fish already and then whatever happens today so I hope you enjoy it Oh. All right, missed him. That was definitely a fish. Okay, back here in an icky section. This is our blue green algae you see everywhere. This thing that makes this like toxic. It's toxic. It's got blue-green algae. It can kill you. Back in the junk. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a good fish. Fish back in the ow, son of a gun, he got me with the hook. Can we get a hold of the guy? Jesus. Look at that, I hooks all the way. Jesus. What I say about when you're flipping them and their fight's not over? That's what you get, man. He is just not done. Look at that hook. All the way through the snout. That's where I hook almost all of them. Right through the freaking snout. That's why I got that hook in my freaking finger. That's a good fish. Right three and a quarter maybe. Back in the junk. On that swim flip crawl. This thing is amazing. On the bobblehead. Stupid. 
stupid reed again. I swear, these little things right here, these little things, no purpose being at a freaking lake. In line Velcro. Oh, finally. Oh, I think he got off. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, perfect. Finally, another fish. Ha. Huh. Bunch of reeds with him. That's a good one. Probably close to three. Right in the snout again. Oh, I ripped a big hole in him. Look at that. Alright, that battery died. Look at that hole I made in this poor guy. You can see it right there. I told you this hook. It's it, Our bobblehead has a stout hook. and Man, I made a crater in that guy, unfortunately. He just went back in there so far. Man, I feel bad. You can like, see right through it. It's like a big old hole. I'd say he's probably close to three. Uh, Alright, let this poor guy go so we can heal up. Woohoo! Gave me a show on the way out. Yahoo! Whoa! Got him! Jesus. That would have been a good frog fish. Nice fish, though. Two pounds, maybe. Saw that swoosh and thought I spooked him, but that swoosh was him taking him a bait. Well, that's definitely fish sitting in here. Another little keeper. Ah, oh. little friggin' pound and a quarter, and look at that. Tore both my claws off. Good deal, though. There's fish in here. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. You think you feel a fish? Set the hook. You used to be able to get it going in here. Oh, there's one. Little guy. Actually, a keeper. Well, maybe like a pounder, pound and a quarter. Yeah, at least there's something in here. Oh, fish! Oh. <laughs> Is 
little guy and he got tangled with oh he got hooked by Mala lure. Oh, look at that, he ended up with the trailer from Mother Bait. Whoa. Yes. Fish back into junk. Fish back in the junk. Like a pound and a half or maybe. Yahoo! Well, where are you going? Alrighty. That's a good fish. Heavy two, close to three. Switch colors. Okeechobee to Alabama Crawl. Used it for a couple yesterday, so my voice got him on it. It's just killing me right now. It suddenly come. fish <laughs> Jesus all right I got something going on Ow. all right a fish it <laughs> caught me by surprise didn't even really know it was I was just like what the heck's going on it's a good about three two and in here with this wind and blowing around and I get a good fish. Uh oh. Fish. There we got. That's a keeper. Twelve incher, I would say. Twelve and a half. All righty. Woohoo! Put on a show. All right, I'm gonna take a little time out right here and sort of fill you in on why I think this this bobblehead with a plastic craw works so well flipping. Now the reality is, first time I heard about the, the bobblehead, and I think the original was the biffle head, the jointed sort of thing, uh, I thought I was flipping it. And I actually brought out this lake, and I was casting it and working over logs and stumps and stuff out away from shore. And I caught 16 fish on, and I'm like, wow, this thing really works. Can't wait to flip it the way it's meant to be fished. Then I find out that the way I was doing it was the original way. And Biffle doesn't really flip this thing. But when you flip it, this thing's amazing. I think part of it is with that football head, and especially when you have it on a, either a creature bait or a plastic craw, the way the jointedness is, when you're sitting there bouncing that, it looks this looks like the tail of the craw flipping. So it looks much more natural and then when you swim it with that that head going up and down up and down it, it looked because of the football shape of it it looks like the tail of the crawdad because when, 
when that you know the claw your craw comes up the tail it, it comes out but I really think that's why this thing works so well I mean it's the only way I flip right now I used to do the old Texas rig with the paint weight no it's the only way I do it and it's been catching me fish on this lake it has been tough this year since December all the way till now which is the beginning of August sometimes I'm still the only person on the lake it's just it's just been a tough tough year with those two years of drought and suddenly all this new water these fish are just up in there and happy so I just wanted to tell you why I think this thing really works and it's that that bobbling and that different action and especially when you see me sitting there just bouncing it with that tail it looks like a little crawdad kind of flipping up and down in there and, and trying to get some sort of food or something and it's distracted so the bass is like oh yep. thank you all right back to fishing bites oh there's fish yay finally Finally a fish. And the hook will not come out. Yay. It's gonna be a late bite. Little guy though. Oh there we go. <laughs> he hit it, dropped it, and then hit it again. Yeah, that fish hit it, and then he dropped it. And he picked it up again. Good deal, good deal. And he didn't destroy my craw. Good fish, good fish. Good boy. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, he's still on there. You just got a ride. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> he got a ride for his life, man. He got a freaking bungee jump out of that. Ooh. I just heard a fish suck under here, and there's a fish. Said I heard a fish suck over there. Wow, he took deep. Like, wow, he's fat. Like, I don't know, pound and a half maybe. Yahoo! First, second flip in there. Ugh, another all right fish. Same place I got one uh, yesterday, I finally got a repeat. Huh. A little pounder. Detail my slips of this right in. Oh. Oh. Good fish. Hooked on a tree. Doesn't seem to want to come off the tree. Uh, Alright. Oh, not that good of a fish. About two and a half. That's why I use this. Look at that hook set. I said that in one of my other videos. This is the way most of them are hooked. Way deep in, in the snout. That's the way this bobblehead hooks them, because it holds it flat. You saw that fish, he's wrapped up on there. 
But he couldn't get himself off. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus. Soaked me. Oh. Tore off one of my claws. Bad fish. Bad fish. Hmm. Well, there's a fish. It's a good fish. And I got on him and a tree. Just like the last fish on this side. That's a good fish. Uh, after around the tree, uh, that's a good fish. I might actually weigh this one and see what it goes. Right, at least we're uh, over four, maybe. All right, weighed the fish. This thing looked big. Looked like it was easy to be over four, but no. It was long and all that, but he's, he was kind of thin. He was actually only three nine. Uh, I should have kept him with me, but he was kind of a little bleeding a little bit, so uh, I let him go. But he only three nine. That fish seems a lot bigger than that. All right, back to fishing. Maybe I can get one over four. Alrighty. Good fish. Man, what's with me in branches today? Whoa, where are you going? Jesus. Where are you going? Ain't giving up, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a good fish, and look again. Right in the freaking snout. Alright, I am going to weigh this one. I think that one might be a four pounder. Alright, give me a sec. Alright, I was going to show that one, but <laughs> freaking had so much fight left in him, he flipped out of my hand back in the water. They just seem bigger today. That one was three and a half. I swear that one looked like it was going to be over four, but I don't know. They look big and chunky, but I mean, three and a half is not a bad fish. The other one was three nine. All right. Got about a half hour left to see if I can get some more. Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> Man, these fish, fish are sitting up tight. Second one that's hit it sort of like a frog, man. Okay? I don't like that's heavy too. Guess it was a good plan to come down here. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much going to do it for this edition of Santa Cruz Bass Fishing Shows. Uh, today was fun. I mean, I pretty much shot in order. Uh, the first day I caught like three and missed a couple. The second day I think I caught seven and missed a few. And then today, I don't even know. I kind of, I got those two three and a halves and... I don't know, it was fun. You gotta give these things a try. I mean, our swim flip craw, we're getting ready to put that on probably within within the month. Um, the bobblehead and the bobblehead with skirt attachment, I uh, already got them packaged, just gotta get on 
the shopping cart and uh, actually load them up. But uh, man, I love flipping these things, man. They just they just work so much better than just a regular pegged weight or a jig. Um, so yeah, give them a try. Like I said, the swim flip craw we were using the Okeechobee craw and the Alabama craw. We also have them in uh, black cherry, watermelon red, and green pumpkin. Caught them on all the colors. But uh, yeah, once they come out, like I said, maybe, hopefully within a couple weeks, I might get couple, some of the colors up. Uh, give them a try. If not, if you have something else, like a creature or something, definitely try one of our bobbleheads and flip it with that. Because Tony works and everything's right to the freaking snout. But hope you enjoyed the show. Till next time. No. It's called a hat can. No, I didn't. I'd have to be looking at you if I was filming you. I never look at you. I'm not, I don't look at you. I'm not looking. <laughs>